should I think about today as I prepare myself to teach my library patrons? Sometimes I worry that patrons don't know that they can find picture books in the everybody section of the library. Oh no. What if that means they won't find the books they love? Oh wait. There are only three major sections in the library. Fiction, nonfiction, and everybody. They know where to find the picture books. I wonder if patrons know that they can find books about pet care in the 600 section of the nonfiction books. Oh no. If they don't know that, they won't know how to care for their pet hamsters, guinea pigs, or rabbits. Oh wait. If anyone gets a new pet and doesn't know how to take care of it, they know that they can ask their librarian to help them find books about it. I wonder if patrons are starting to think about the summer reading program. Oh no. If they don't get their game card and start reading books, they won't be able to win fabulous prizes and earn their t-shirts. Oh wait, it's still only March. Summer reading doesn't start until June, and I have plenty of time to teach them about what they need to know before then. Mm. 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 Oh, hi there, Ilsa. Hi Mr. Mall. I have a question for you. Earlier today, we learned that Brianna Mukadiriu Chendu won the John Steptoe New Talent Award for illustrating We Could Fly. I can't wait to read it, but it got me to thinking, who was John Steptoe and why did the American Library Association name an award after him? That's a good question, Ilsa. But before I explain, let me warn you that there tend to be cutaways while I'm explaining things to people. It can be a little disconcerting the first couple of times it happens. But you get used to it. John Steptoe was born in Brooklyn, New York on September 14, 1950. See, there's the cutaway I was talking about. Anyway, as I was saying, John Steptoe was born in Brooklyn, New York on September 14, 1950. When he was young, he realized he had an interest in art and began drawing. He was able to get into the School of Art and Design, a prestigious high school in Manhattan. There he learned even more about art. His first book was called Stevie, and he started working on it while he was still in high school. He was able to sell it to Harper and Rowe Publishers. It hit the bookshelves in 1969, where it received both impressive sales and critical acclaim. Life magazine called it a new kind of book for black children. Over the years, John illustrated 15 additional books, including 10 that he wrote himself. He was awarded Caldecott honors for both The Jumping Mouse and Ufaro's Beautiful Daughters. He also was awarded the Coretta Scott King Award for illustration for Mother Crocodile and Wafaro's beautiful daughters. He had two children. His daughter, Buila, was one of the models for Mufaro's beautiful daughters. His son, Javaka, would grow up to be an author and an illustrator in his own right. Javaka won the Caldecott Medal in 2017 for Radiant Child. The story of young artist Jean-Michel Basquiat, sadly, John died on August 2008, 1989, of AIDS. Because of his contribution to children's literature, the American Library Association created the John Steptoe New Talent Award, which you learned about earlier today. Wow, I had no idea. Now I can't wait to go back and read all of his books. He sounds like an amazing person, author, and illustrator. He sure was, Ilsa. I'm glad I could tell you a little bit about him. Gee, it's awfully quiet around here today. Have you happened to see Peter or PJ? Not for a little while. I'm sure they're just reading quietly somewhere. 